hi friends welcome back to the crafty bee channel today's lesson is going to be how to make this elegant monostripe dress you see on the screen and with the saturated sleeve if you want to know how to make this sleeve i'll be leaving the link down below for you to go and watch on my channel so if you are new here you are welcome if you are my returning subscriber, I say a big welcome. Thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos. And also, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe, like my videos, so that YouTube can recommend me to the others, also to learn. You can also share my videos. Thank you. So if this is what you like to learn, please stay tuned to the end of the video. So without wasting much of your time, Let's get right into the video. So I'm using this beautiful African fabric. It's the same one I use for the sleeves. And also this basic tools for the job. So let's get started. So guys, this is going to be a circular dress. And I don't want the top parts to be too full. So I'm using two yards. That's two yards by 45 inches. And I'm cutting the front and the back together. There's not going to be zipper. It's just going to be free. So to start with, I folded the fabric halfway like this. And I marked an imaginary line here, which serves as the shoulder line and also serves as my starting line. Let me just give you quick the measurements I'm using. My shoulder to shoulder measurement is 15 inches. I'll be dividing it into two. And then my bust measurement is 43 inches divided by 4. And the full length I'm using is 40 inches plus 1 inch hemming allowance. So let's get started. So this is my shoulder line. And then from the shoulder to my chest line is 8.5 inches. So I mark the 8.5 inches across here. And I'll draw a line. I hope you can see the markings. And then from my shoulder to my bust point is 11 inches. So from my shoulder to the full length is 41 inches together with the hemming allowance. Now I'll be imputing the horizontal measurement. My shoulder to shoulder is 16 inches divided by 2 is 8 inches and then on the chest line I mark also 8 inches so that I can get a straight line now I will be creating my neckline I'm using 3 and a half inches for the neck width and then 3 and a half inches for the neck depth I'll connect it with my curve ruler so on the shoulder point, I'll be coming down by one inch for my shoulder slope. And I'll be connecting from the neck point to the shoulder slope. So from this one inch shoulder slope, I'll be dividing my armhole depth into two. So I folded the tape in half to mark the center point of this line. So I'll be coming in by half an inch for the front armhole. Before creating the armhole, I'll be measuring my bust divided by 4. My bust is 43 and a half inches divided by 4. So my bust is 10.75. And then I'll be adding 2 inches for ease and sewing allowance. So whatever I have here is the same for the bust line. So now I'll be connecting the armhole. I'll start with the back armhole, then to the front armhole. So this is it, it's very simple to make. And then from this first point, I'll connect the line straight to meet my full length here. And the monostrap dress is a dress with one shoulder. If you want your damp part to be wider than this, then you have to use two and a half yards or three yards, depending on your body measurement. So this is it. But before I'll cut the armhole, 
I'll be opening it so that we can get our mono strap cut out. So I will not cut the armhole yet. I will just cut it and then open it. I'll cut the neckline and then we we'll see what to do next. So one more thing is on the shoulder, I'll mark half an inch for the joining allowance. Mark it on top here. So I'll be cutting first the neckline and then I'll cut it straight like this. Remove the side, then cut the down parts, then open it up so that we'll know what to do next. I've opened up the dress and I created the armhole on this side also. So to get more understanding, that's why I open it to cut the mono strap. So to cut the mono strap, let's take this side to be the right side because this is the wrong side of the fabric. So this is the right side and then this is the left. So let's label the this side R and then this side L. So this is the right side and this is the left. The right side is where the sleeve is going to be and the left side is where the slanted part is going to be. So to do that, you come to the right side here, on the shoulder of the right side, you come in by half an inch. It depends on how deep you want your slanted part to be. So if you want your privilege to show, then you drop it down a bit. But in this case, I want my upper spot to be covered. So already we marked three and a half for the neck depth and then three and a half for the neck width. So I'll be coming down by seven inches. So I'll be connecting from this half inch to this seven inches. Then on this other side, because I don't want my upper bust to show on the armhole here, I'll be coming up by one inch. So from this half an inch, I'll draw a line like this. I'm using my free hand. You can use your curve ruler. And then I'll connect it straight to this one inch above the armhole. Guys, you understand me now? Because I don't want my upper bust to show, I came up by one inch from the armhole, above one inch above the armhole, like this. Then on the neckline, I came in by half an inch. And then in the center front, I came in by seven and a half inches. You can come down up to eight inches, nine inches, depending on how you want your upper bust to show. But I don't want mine to show at all. I want it covered. So I came down by seven and a half inches. So from this half an inch on the shoulder, you connect it to this seven and a half inch and then connect it to the one inch above the armhole. Then you connect it straight down like this. So this is our allowance and our piece. Next, on this shoulder part, I will take in half an inch because I don't want the shoulder to drop too much and connect it to the armhole. So this is the front armhole and this is the back armhole. So I hope everything is clear now. So I'll be cutting out the armhole. And now is to cut the neckliner. So guys, this is it. It's very simple and easy to make. I'm just going to use one inch, one inch to sew it down. So the next thing to do is to cut piping. I'm not cutting line. I'll be cutting pieces of strap to lock the neckline. And also after I'll join the two sides like this. Then I will turn it to know where to trim the front armhole. I'll take it to my machine, join the shoulder, and then also pipe the edges with pieces of the leftover, and then join the sides, hem the down, and come back and show you the next step. So guys, this is our dress. You see how beautiful it is? I dip in the armhole here on the front side of the dress. So this is where the sleeve is going to be. 
this asymmetric is on the left and the sleeve is going to be on the right so on the front side of the sleeve i trim it down a bit so that the front will be more deep in than the back so this is it i went ahead and hand the edges i saw the sides of the dress so our sleeve is also ready the only thing left is to attach our sleeve so this is our sleeve this is our exaggerated sleeve and it's corn sleeves so i'll be attaching the sleeves on the dress you see how beautiful it look so after attaching the sleeve to the dress i'll take it to the mannequin for us to see how beautiful the dress has come out so the bust is bigger than the mannequin i'm using so i just put it on it for illustration purpose so this is how it look so this is it this is the mono strap dress you see how it is we only have one mono strap and then we have asymmetric on the side so you see how beautiful it look if you've watched and you find this tutorial helpful please don't forget to leave a big thumbs up just to support this channel and for youtube to know that you people appreciate my content so that youtube can recommend me to other people thank you for watching share my videos comment down and see you in my next video thanks for watching bye